In the region of Fergatonia lies Hanson Field in Macomb, Illinois, home of the Western Illinois Leathernecks. Western Illinois was founded in 1899 and opened in 1902 after a movement to put a normal school in the military track country. Macomb best at Quincy to be the site of the school. Macomb is located in the fictional region of Fergatonia. Fergatonia was a fictional tongue-in-cheek 16-county political secession in the early 1970s following infrastructure and transportation underfunding. It was conceived by residents of McDonough County with a Western student named Governor. Before Hanson Field, Western played in what was called the stadium, or also called Athletic Field, from 1903 to 1949. This photo is from 1907. The grandstand was constructed by 1905. This photo is from 1908. The stadium would be located behind Sherman Hall. In this photo from 1909, you can see the back side of the grandstand. The Purple and Gold Peppers were an early spirit squad with up to 200 ladies who performed at halftime and during games. In this photo from the 1930s, you can see the side of the grandstand. Here's a picture of the scoreboard from 1938. Notice there's 15 markers on the clock, one for each minute. Here's a photo from 1947. You can see the grandstand in the background. And here's a 1948 homecoming itinerary. The Quincy Western football game was played at what was then called Athletic Field. To the right is a letter from the president saying the new stadium would open in 1949. However, it did not open until 1950. The new stadium would be named after Colonel Ray Rock Hansen, who was a colonel in the Marines and served in World War I and World War II. He was nicknamed Rock for his friendship with Newt Rockney, and he actually proposed the 10-second rule in basketball. He was the longtime athletic director, football coach, and basketball coach for the Leathernecks. And he's also responsible for Western being nicknamed the Leathernecks, as Western Illinois is the only school outside of the service academies to be named after a branch of the military and they're the only public university granted permission to use the Marines logo and seal as Hansen received permission from the U.S. Navy Department to use the Marines official seal mascot, which was the English Bulldog, in fighting Leatherneck's nickname in 1927. Hansen Field would open on September 23, 1950, as the Leathernecks crushed the Central Michigan Chippewas 28-7. Hanson Field opened with 10,000 capacity and a lot of hillside seating. These photos are from 1950. The north end zone would have a large scoreboard with a white clock, and Hanson Field would have several light posts for one of the most complete lighting systems in the country and one of only two conference stadiums with lights. This photo is from 1951. The south end zone would have a large flagpole donated by the class of 1950. And the parking lot in this 1953 photo looks very similar to the parking lot today, 70 years later. There would be stands on both the west side and east side, with the west side stands being larger. This photo is from 1954. Here's an aerial shot from 1954, circled in purple as Hanson Field. Hanson Field would also host a bowl game, the Corn Bowl, in 1955, played on Thanksgiving Day in front of 5,000 fans. The original Colonel Rock was an English bulldog who came to Western in 1958 and passed away in 1966. The Marines then donated a Bulldog in 1967 named Rocky. Western's enrollment would explode from 2,700 in 1960 to 11,000 in 1969. This photo is from 1966. And you can see the green bleachers on the east side, the near side, and they appear to be wooden. Here's a photo in 1968 of the press box in torrential downpour. With the explosive enrollment growth, Hanson Field needed to expand, so 5,000 bleacher seats were added for 15,000 capacity at $66,000. Student seating would increase from 2,500 to 7,175, and Hanson Field would have an 18,000-plus attendance game in 71, 72, and 73. Here are some before and after photos. Of the east side the left photo is from 68 and the right photo is from 72. arson was suspected in a 1971 fire that destroyed the wooden top section of the two-story press box here's an aerial shot from 1974 here's a photo of the press box from 1979 a new scoreboard in 1986 was rumored to be purchased from a big eight school 
Here are some colored photos from 1989. The photo in the middle and the photo on the right are the east side bleachers and they are purple and yellow. The Hanson Field attendance record was set in 1973 when 19,850 of the Fergotonia faithful attended the game against Central Michigan. This photo is from 1992. Macomb and Hanson Field would be the training camp site of the St. Louis Rams from 1996 to 2004. Western was picked over Eastern due to the better package and Macomb being on the way to Platteville, Wisconsin for bear scrimmages. Macomb did not get to host Super Bowl 34, but they did get to host Super Bowl 34.5, which was sold out in the summer of 2000 in a Super Bowl rematch of the St. Louis Rams and Tennessee Titans. An iron gate entrance with brick pillars and an arch would be built in 2001. The eight-lane track would be renovated in 2002 in a $518,000 project, and a new lighting system replaced the original lighting system in 2002 for unobstructed sight lines in a $175,000 project is the original light poles were along the sideline in front of the seats, and now the new light poles would be behind the seats. Hanson Field would host a scrimmage between the St. Louis Rams and Chicago Bears in 2004 with over 14,000 in attendance. A $5 million renovation replaced the bleachers on the east side in 2007. Hanson Field is now at 16,368 capacity. A memorable tradition at Western is the Peach Blossoms, who are a ravaged student group of military veterans that formed in the mid-1960s. They wear wigs and face paint while drinking their favorite beverages out of plungers, and in the old days, they arrived driving a pickup truck around the track. In fact, that photo on the left from 1976 might be that green pickup truck they drove around in. Incredibly, the Peach Blossoms found themselves in a storyline in the 1982 Illinois gubernatorial election when Illinois Governor Jim Thompson took a sip out of a plunger after the Peach Blossoms approached him at a game during his 1982 re-election campaign. Governor Thompson had promised to join all you party animals at halftime. This infiltrated the election as a subplot when opponent Stevenson turned it into an example of Thompson's public partying being a liability. Thompson would defeat Stevenson in a photo finish, 49.4 to 49.3%. Hanson Field has a bronze sculpture called Excellence on Winged Foot of two-time Olympic gold medalist Lee Calhoun. There is also a statue of Colonel Ray Rock Hanson, and there is a concrete bulldog that guards the entrance to Hanson Field. It's constantly painted over by student groups. One of the coolest parts about Hanson Field is the doghouse. The exterior of the doghouse is decorated in a bunch of old photos and newspaper clippings of Rocky. Nearby Hanson Field is Mascot Memorial Plaza. Incredibly, there are almost 100 Rocky sculptures around Macomb, and there's actually a map where you can see each one. I believe the number is currently at 89. After doing a good job renovating the east sideline over 15 years ago, the next project at Hanson Field will be renovating the west side. The chairs, stairs, and exterior are all showing their age. Here are some then and now pictures. I took old photos and tried to match them up with any similar angles of current photos I took last year. And here's the vantage point from the south end zone in 1951 and 2022. Here's a view of the east sideline in 1954 in 2022. Another view of the east sideline in 1968 in 2022. You can see the trees have really grown since then. And then the updated east sideline in 1972 compared to 2022. And here's a press box comparison from 1979 in 2022. In the southwest corner in 1992 and then 2022, you can see the difference in the west side bleachers. And then the difference in the east sideline from 2004 to 2022. The photo on the left is from the Bears-Rams game. The Leathernecks have won the Gateway or MVFC in 88, 97, 98, 2000, and 2002. They've been to the playoffs 11 times at the 1AA FCS level. And they went to the quarterfinals in 97, 02, and 03, and semifinals in 98. Western Illinois played for generations in the Illinois Intercollegiate Athletic Conference also known as the Little 19 Conference. Eventually, the Illinois Intercollegiate Athletic Conference would evolve into the Interstate Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, and the Interstate Intercollegiate Athletic Conference would dissolve in 1970. 
in Western football would be in the Mid-Continent Athletic Association in 1978 until the Leathernecks would join the Gateway Football Conference in 1985. The Gateway Football Conference would be renamed the Missouri Valley Football Conference in 2008, and the Leathernecks will remain in the MVFC through 2023 and then join the OVC football in 2024. to fade away cause every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same way gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray i'm sorry that i'm so inconvenient okay just let me be me and i'll stay out of your way i can see the way you look at me i'm such a disgrace i never really asked to be brought into this place you want to love me well then baby have a taste all the highs and the lows no you'll never be the same i don't really want to hurt you but i can't control the pain if you're sticking by my side maybe we could be okay 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 maybe you could be the change i need today i promise that i'm never fell this way i really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Your friend, you're not okay. And 
tell me what's wrong and why you 